Hello all, Shoestring here. Today, I received the Thunderbolt Solar. This is from Harbor Freight, 100 watt solar panel. And we're gonna take it out of the box and find out how easy or not it is to set up. Let you see the front of the box real quick. It says it has efficient solar cells, lightweight, 15 pounds. Well, I did lift it up. It is pretty light, I'll give it that. That's inside the box. Made for outside, which is, of course, where it's going to be. And it says it produces, on average, 31 amp hours or 500 watt hours per day. But we'll find that out in the testing. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at it and see how difficult or easy it is to set up. So we're, all, we're going to take it out of the box and we're going to set it up. But first thing I wanted to do, of course, is let everyone take a look at it. I got this because with all the specials going on for the holiday season, I had a couple of coupons and it was really inexpensive, which is what shoestring prep is all about. Really inexpensive. Wind is blowing pretty good today, so hopefully you can hear this. Turn the box up. It, of course, is taped shut. Get you a picture of that. So we're simply going to take our knife and come across and make sure all the tape is off. Then we're going to pull it out and see how easy or not this is to set up. See what we have in here. It looks like we have a box inside of a box. Well, those are always good. All right, so now that we have it out of the box, we have the directions. Always like these little manuals in case something comes up that we need to look at. Our standard little warnings. 100 watt solar panels tells you what to do and what not to do, of course. Then our connection. So it can go to the charge controller. Standard Harbor Freight connection and legs. Easy to get up and down. We'll find out how easy it is to get all this set up. It looks like it's going to be fairly simple. Let's take a look. All right. Go ahead and lift it up. Place it over here where we'd like it to set up temporarily. And with the legs up, and they do look pretty firm. They hold it there pretty well. Might like them a little longer, but not too much. So here it is. It is set up. Doesn't look like anything's broke or damaged. Looks just fine. As you can see, the legs there. Move that up a little so you can see. No way to adjust the legs, it appears. They just are the way they are. But for me, that will be fine. See how long the cord is. Okay, so the cord, oh, I'm not good at measuring, but it's a pretty good length. Let you see how far it will go there. And I will simply take that and connect it over here, I have this connection, this long wire here, also from Harbor Freight. Has the same type of Harbor Freight connection you see right there. And it goes into the house to the charge controller that goes to the battery. So you just connect these two together. And there it is connected together. And that sets this up. That was actually pretty easy. Simple even, and I like that. Okay, so that is how we set this up. Oh, and of course, if you like videos like this, this is a good time to like and subscribe. Let us know that you do, because that helps the videos. And if you like them, add a comment or something too and say, whatever you'd like. The more comments and the more likes I get,
the more likely this will be sent to other people in their recommendations by the YouTube algorithms. And that, of course, helps the channel. Okay, so there it is, how simple it is and easy to set up the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel. Quick and easy. You have any questions, put them down in the comments. I like comments, I like questions. And if you know something about these that I haven't mentioned, put them down there. Let us all know. Shoestring out.